In classical economics, choices reflect stable preferences, including when they are puzzling, such as when they exhibit extreme impatience, addiction, discrimination, and others. Behavioral economics assumes that these choices are, in contrast to classical economics, mistakes, psychological biases, but it doesn't give a unified explanation of them. Cognitive economics is a new approach to this problem that I recently developed in an ongoing collaboration with uh, Pedro Bordalo, Andre Schleifer, and others. The idea is to try to understand human choice starting from basic cognitive forces, such as selective memory and selective attention, and then study how choices, be they normal or puzzling, emerge from these forces. Cognitive economics entails new theory and new empirical test. Cognitive processes, in fact, not just final choices should be measured. Consider discrimination. The classical economic approach views it as reflecting distaste for a certain social group. For instance, I may be reluctant to hire a person for a job, even though she is qualified for it, because she belongs to a minority group I don't like. In several papers with Bordalo and Schleifer, however, we show that even absent these preferences, selective memory can alone be a powerful source of discrimination, because it can make us hold incorrect beliefs, an incorrect stereotype about the person. In our example, I could underestimate the person's professional qualifications due to the recall of a few bad, unproductive members of her group. And note that memory in this way does not just explain why stereotypes come into existence, but also why they persist over time. We cannot unlearn them because we selectively forget non-stereotypical experiences, as we show in our empirical work with Bordalo and Schleifer. So, in the end, the cognitive economics has two important benefits relative to existing approaches. First, because it studies the mechanisms of cognition, it can give guidance on how to effectively change and correct beliefs. Second, because memory and attention are used in every one of our decisions, this approach can shed light on many different domains. In ongoing work with uh, Bordalo and Schleifer, we show that this same approach can shed light on why investors in the stock market hold excessively volatile belief, and these can give rise to financial markets instability. So, overall, with selective attention and memory, one can explain a large variety of facts without having to resort to exotic preferences. The Fondazione Romeo and Enrica Invernizzi, through this chair, will support my research and will also favor its dissemination among students. This will occur through mentorship of students using uh, the cognitive approach and through a course in cognitive economics available to the students of Masters of Science.